So the retreat's name is Heart to Heart. It's He Art to Heart. And it means that we are an art piece and the whole retreat is focused on the connection from your heart to the rest of the body. And um, so this retreat specifically is the connection from our heart to the rest of your body, but also from your heart to the rest of the group. So in other words, everybody is connected. So these retreats that I'm doing is not only focusing on the physical body, it's focusing on a little bit of everything, a little bit of spirituality, uh, emotional well-being, as well as the body itself. And of course, our integration of all of these bodies. Yes, it also means our how we connect with our uh, power inside our body uh, as a man. So there is options. So if we do a retreat in a Gauteng, it depends also on the venue. Um, so if we do a retreat in Gauteng, there is a little pots, they call them sleeping pots. And uh, if they are fully occupied, then there's tents, which the venue supply. But for this retreat in Cape Town that we um, have in February, um, that one would have small chalets, which is a sharing chalet and with a ablution block outside. All right, so let me explain about chakras. We have energy points through the body, over 500 apparently. But we work with the main chakras. And if one of those chakras or center or energy centers are a little bit blocked in certain areas in your life, then it means that there is no flow. And it's got nothing to do with if you're a Christian, a Hindu, a Muslim, or a Buddhist, or any other religion. It's about the body and the flow of the energy through the body. And if that energy is uh, uh, being put into emotional um, thing or emotional um, support, then we work with those emotions. And if we can go through those emotions, there's some flow of the energy. It's all about your experience. You can either benefit through being in the moment and not worry what other people think and it's only you that can decide that this retreat will be for you or not for you but i would always say if you are willing to work on yourself regardless of what other people say you will always benefit and i think that if you can just let go of all of those pre perceived ideas or what a retreat should be and not should be and just come for this experience and be in the moment you will have a wonderful time so there's a lot of questions what comes first so if you are in my vicinity in Gauteng then we say you go slower you first do a, a aqua bliss or a massage exchange or any of these other uh, day events or full day uh, mini retreats or urban retreats so that you can follow up after um, with it with a, a weekend retreat your question is is there a follow-up for a weekend retreat there's always a follow-up it depends on where you want to go with your uh, um, growth spiritual growth emotional growth um, just your 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 growth in general so yes there's always a follow-up and in the Cape, there will be a follow-up every now and then. Uh, and there's more regular follow-ups or other retreats in Gauteng, which follows up on certain, certain areas in your life. Preparation for a retreat is not always what you need to do or anything like that. I do give um, a, a list of things that you should do before a retreat, and that depends on the, the retreat itself. And what I mean with that is certain retreats does have different um, 
uh, ideas and if there's a theme that that speaks to you it also means that there is a little bit of homework before the time so sometimes it's a list of things that you want to to get or to write down or let go or a list of things that you need to do before the time but that list i i always give just before the retreat so that you are freshly uh, prepared for the retreat so the retreat is not a pickup place if you are shy it means that you are really really body conscious and to be body conscious all of us has issues and have issues around how big and how small how fat how thin uh, what's the color of our skin and blah 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 but for me the essential of moving fit in is always what you will make out of it there's a lot of people that really really can't fit in in any circumstances but in our retreats there's no judgment and what i mean of that is most people that we, we work with is really um, judgment free and you'll also experience that on my retreats that you know regardless regardless of what you are and who you are judgment becomes kind of a non-existing thing and we are all there for one purpose and that is to grow spiritually emotionally personally physically i will always say that if you're uncomfortable with a a certain situation or a person it means that you are pushed in a corner and then it comes from either somewhere along the line that you needed to to break free from that but if there's really 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 an issue then you can sit out if the activity is not for you and if you can't work with the person you're always welcome to tell me beforehand so that we can make a plan we are all are adults and that means that you don't have to do something that you don't want to do. I don't believe that any of my retreats are a physical exercise. The only really challenging area would be that they, it could be a little bit of a yoga or a body stretch or something like that in the morning before, uh, when we woke up. But there's no activities that uh, it's about mountain climbing, river rafting, dangerous stuff, or any of those things. It's about really to feel comfortable, to be safe, and that we are really um, can connect, uh, not only with the group, but also to nature. We do cater for all the dietitian needs. That means vegan, vegetarian, and meat eaters. If you have a problem um, that's a little bit uncomfortable or jealous, you can always bring him with because my retreats are basically for couples as well as singles. If there's really, really a problem, you can always tell him that it's a self development retreat and you want to develop yourself in a personal level, spiritual level, and then also physical level. And that will benefit your relationship. If you've got a, a bigger problem than that, or if you need more information, you can always phone me. But it's up to you. And if there's really, really an issue uh, as a couple, then um, I would rather say that you must rather not do the retreat. The best way to learn and to experience, to experience. Uh, is to have fun. There's fun and there's fun. Uh, at my retreats we refrain from the fun side of it but there is a lot of time where we have laughter and we have a great time. One of the best and manliest things that you can do and if you really feel like you want to feel vulnerable at the retreat there's enough support for you to have at the retreat. You have older people, and I'm saying older, I mean older in a group, to support you, 
and I think that if it really goes into a cry session or a really emotional session that you can find it in your heart that's all about growth and to let go uh, of things that may bother you. So we do have a program that we supply for the retreat on the retreat so there will be always a program which gives you a timetable of what we are going to do and where we will be next either outside or inside what you have to wear before the retreat or before that exercise and uh, when is um, the, the lunch or dinner times so there is a schedule um, that we use for a retreat When we break up in smaller groups, we call them little families or my tribe and so forth. So a lot of times these little groups are the core of what's happening, where you can really share your really intimate and um, uh, personal uh, experiences, which you normally do not always want to share in a big or a large group. But there is also time for you to reflect and write down share in the big or the larger group there's also time for that so it's all about communication and how you want to share your experience I have a, a trick in my sleeve where I use a very nice method to make sure that everybody is inclusive and nobody will be left out is that when you sign the terms and conditions there is also safety and, and um, emotional support uh, amendments where you can just sign and uh, guidelines. So right from the beginning, there's some guidelines that you know that this retreat is about and that gives everybody that safety net. We have guidelines for that and everybody agree on the the whole thing about that is actually quite an important question because how do we keep our little group confidential? For the experience of the weekend, but you cannot share somebody else's experience. So um, I do give people enough time to agree on these things, but you are all. Um, on board with confidentiality. Yes, sharing your, your experience and your insights, you can either then share it in your little group or your family, like I said before, or in a big group, or um, afterwards I do have a questionnaire that you can fall in, is to reflect on the retreat. For, for me, it is very important to read those things. It's not always public, uh, in the public space, but it's for me just and for you to, to reflect on this. Nobody plays a huge role in all of these events, all these retreats. So um, there's a lot of activities where we bond as a group or as two individuals or two people. It's not necessarily anything essential, but it's really just bonding. Comfortable and a very safe space. Investment includes your accommodation, your retreat facilitation, your soft drinks, and as well as the food. There is a refund, and so the policy of the refund depends on what time of the process you are in for doing the payment or doing the refund but it's all on the terms and conditions of my retreat program a lot of testimonials on the website as well as little video clips or um, uh, uh, youtube uh, videos on my youtube channel um, and if you can't find it, you can always ask me and I can just uh, uh, get you in touch with somebody that has been doing these retreats before. Guidelines for the retreat, 
but it also really depends on the venue and where it is. So sometimes uh, if the venue will supply us with emergency numbers, but also on your application, there is a emergency number that we can phone if there's an emergency right from the beginning with your medical records and so forth. But luckily we've never ever had the problem with that.